vector space definition of vector space let v be a non empty set and its elements are called vectors the elements of v that is vector space are called vectors but uh, uh, just we say it, uh, the elements of v as a vector vectors uh, means in physics in vector means uh, uh, quantity having direction and magnitude uh, this is not the definition of this vector just the element of vector space are called vectors uh, it's done not means the quantity having uh, magnitude and uh, direction just the element of vector space are called vectors in this paper so now uh, v is a non empty set on which two operations called sum or addition and is denoted by usually plus sign and the scalar multiplication denoted by dot or just uh, space without dot that is the scalar multiplication so it's uh, the two operations called sum or addition and scalar multiplication uh, defined on this vector space v okay so these two operations are defined on v so its definitions are given this sum or addition is not your usual addition that is what is your usual addition for example 2 plus 3 is 5 this is usual addition but it is this sum or addition is denoted by this plus sign but its definition is specifically given in the uh, that example that is this uh, definition of addition is depend on that uh, example or uh, what is given in that example it is not your usual addition and this scalar multiplication for example 2 into 3 is 6 uh, is your uh, usual scalar multiplication but this scalar multiplication is not your usual scalar multiplication it's depend on that example okay so that let v be the vector space uh, v be the non empty set on which the two operations sum and scalar multiplication are defined then v with these two operation just just say v or we write v uh, comma plus comma dot means scalar multiplication addition and v all these three with these three that is v with these two operation is called a vector space or linear space vector space is also called linear space so the no just v we say v or v plus dot is called vector space or linear space over r what, what is the meaning of over r means the uh, scalars comes from this r that is the scalars uh, uh, comes from the set of real numbers and is also called a real vector space this is called real vector space so vector space over r if the following 10 assumptions are satisfied by the elements of v so what is the structure of vector space vector space is a non empty set with these two operations and with this 10 assumptions so when the set with these two assumptions uh, with these two operations satisfies this 10 assumptions then that set is called vector space so vector space means one set two operations and 10 conditions what is the vector space vector space means uh, one set non empty set two operations and 10 assumptions aggregately this uh, structure is called a vector space so what are the type 10 assumptions first two are called closure assumptions the second uh, the next four are called addition assumptions and the next four are called scalar multiplication assumptions oh, so these are the total 10 assumptions so the first assume the first two closure assumptions first one is what u bar plus v bar belongs to v for all u bar and v bar belongs to v that is v is close for addition in the, uh, in a, another way we say that v is close for addition and what is the meaning very simple meaning that addition of every two elements of v addition of every two elements of v belongs to v present in v if this happen then we say the first property satisfies this is denoted by notation c1 so what is c1 u bar plus v bar what is the notation for elements of v say u v w these are the notations for the elements of capital v vector space and what is this bar just indicate that it is a element of vector space we write the bar or write arrow at the uh, top of this uh, notation v bar or v raised to v uh, 
I row, right here, I row. So in some books, the notation is just u and v without uh, arrow and without a bar. So uh, we can use either bar or uh, arrow at the top or just uh, u and v and w are the elements of this uh, vector space v. So this bar is not necessary, not uh, compulsory. We can write bar just in order to distinguish the vector and scalar. That is the elements of vector space and the elements of this R. So to separate the elements of R and the uh, elements of V, we have to write this bar only. It is not a usual uh, vector uh, that is the quantity having magnitude and uh, uh, direction. It, this is not the definition of uh, this vector. Vector means just the element of vector space. So this bar is not compulsory. We can use bar or uh, arrow at the top or without we can write uh, just u and v and w are the elements of v. So this is the first property that v is close for addition. That is addition of every two elements of v belongs to v, present in v. So when this property we say uh, false or dissatisfied for the set, if you take suppose uh, the set of uh, uh, natural numbers, then what happened? Addition of every two natural number is again natural number. Uh, while if you, if you take the set, uh, suppose the, this set V contains the element 1, 200. Suppose the set V contains the elements 1, 200. All the natural numbers like, uh, from 1, 200. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to 100. Then this set is not close for addition. Because if you take the uh, two elements, suppose uh, from uh, that set, suppose 50 and 51 or 50 and 52. Suppose that we take 50 and 52. Then what is the addition of 50 and 52? It is 102. And it is not the element of V because V contains the elements from 1 to 100. So if we take any finite subset of a natural number set, then it is uh, then for that set, this property dissatisfied. And so the set 1 to 100 of natural numbers is not, uh, uh, is not vector space. Because first property is dissatisfied. So when set is vector space, if set satisfies these 10 properties, but when the set is not vector space, any set V is not vector space, if any one of the out, out of these 10 property fails, any one out of these 10 property fails for the set, then we say the set is not vector space. So set of natural numbers satisfies the first property. That is, it's close for addition. But if we take any subset, any finite subset of natural number, for example, say to 1 to 100, then uh, it does not, then uh, the first property is satisfied for that set. And that therefore the subset of natural number is not, uh, is not vector space, any subset of natural number, any finite subset of natural number. Similarly, what is the second property? K u bar belongs to V for all u bar belongs to V and for any scalar K. K is scalar means K is the element of R. And this property is uh, satisfied by the set, then we say that set is closed for scalar multiplication. So what is the property? If you take any element of V and if you take any scalar and if their multiplication belongs to V, then we say it is pro it's satisfied. This property is satisfied for that set. When we just said this uh, uh, property fails, we do a counter example. That is if we take set, set of natural numbers, sub, sub, uh, suppose n is the V, this capital V is equal to capital N, set of natural numbers. That is the elements contains the element, uh, the set contains the element one, two, three up to infinity. Okay. And this property is dissatisfied for that set. Why this property fails for the set of natural numbers? If we take K as one half, suppose K as one half and U bar, that is the element of set of V means natural number as a three, then one half into three is uh, three by two and three by two does not belongs to here, capital here. And therefore for set of natural numbers, this, this property fails, C2 fails. C1 uh, true for, hold for natural number, set of natural numbers, but the second property fails for set of natural numbers and therefore set of natural numbers that is capital n that contains the element one two three dash 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 up to infinity this set is not vector space because the second property fails for the set of natural numbers 
that is if you take any scalar and any element of uh, n capital n then multiplication does not belongs to n uh, if you take uh, k as one half and u bar that is suppose u bar that is set of uh, element of uh, capital n as a uh, 4 then one half into 4 is 2 uh, then uh, 2 is a, a natural number that is for these two elements it satisfied the property satisfied but when we say this property is satisfied if it is true for every element of that uh, set v and for any scalar k that is if we take scalar one half and the uh, element of set of natural numbers as a uh, three then one half into three is three by two and three by two does not belongs to n capital n natural number set and therefore uh, set of natural number is again not a vector space the first property is satisfied for the set of natural numbers addition of every two natural number is natural number but the second property fails for the set of natural number and obviously set of natural number is not a vector space okay so uh, the next two properties uh, next four properties are called addition axioms so what is the first axiom a1 that is the this uh, in all this uh, this is third property of the vector space u bar plus v bar is equal to v bar plus u bar and it's called commutative law commutative property that is the addition is commutative then second property of addition axiom is u plus v bar u bar plus v bar plus w bar is, is equal to u bar plus v bar plus w bar for all u bar v bar w bar belongs to v and it's called associative prop or called associative law the third one is existence of zero there exists a zero bar in v it is the just notation zero bar what is this is called zero vector and it it is not a usual zero your usual zero but what is its property u bar plus zero bar is u bar for all u bar belong to v so it is necessary that there exists a element zero in that vector space if this zero does not exist in v then v is not vector space so this is the existence of zero vector zero vector must be exist in the uh, vector space in that set if the zero vector does not exist in the set then we say it is not vector space so what is when which element is called zero vector uh, and what is its notation zero bar is its notation and what is zero bar u bar plus zero bar is equal to u bar if the element satisfies this property is called zero vector and uh, for all u bar belongs to v so if you add this zero vector in every vector in any vector then we have the same vector so such a element exists in the uh, set v then next is existence of negative vector for each u bar for each vector u bar belongs to v there it must exist the vector minus u bar in v called negative vector of u bar such that u bar plus minus u bar is zero bar so what is the this property if uh, the vector exists in the set uh, in the vector space then its negative must be exist in the same set for example if you take say, set of natural numbers then uh, in the set of natural number zero is, does not exist so this property e3 is also dissatisfied for the you know, set of natural number this fourth property is also uh, dissatisfied for the set of natural number because uh, what is the negative of two is minus two. minus two does not exist in the set of natural numbers so what is this property if the element exists in the vector space v then its negative must exist in the in the same vector space so negative of every element of v exists in v so what is the negative the addition of that two element is zero vector okay so then these two are called negative of each other so if the element exists then its negative must be exist in the set v so this is the existence of negative vector so the next four properties are called scalar multiplication properties k u bar plus v bar is equal to k u bar plus k v bar for all u bar and v bar belongs to v and for any scalar k then k plus l k and l are scalars and u bar is the vector element of v so k plus l u bar is k u bar plus l u bar and then k l u bar is equal to k l u bar again k and l are scalars means elements of set r real numbers k and l, l are real numbers and u bar belongs to v is the vector and 1 into u bar right 1 dot u bar or 1 into u bar is equal to u bar so this uh, uh, k dot 
either write k dot u bar plus v bar here k dot u bar or k dot v bar so dot is not necessary here dot means scalar multiplication so just uh, uh, this uh, empty space means scalar multiplication okay and this plus means this plus sign is what is the uh, addition uh, sum or addition is the notation for addition so either write this dot notation or don't write dot this dot notation right this property in the another format we can write k dot u bar plus v bar is equal to k dot u bar plus k dot v bar or just write like this so these are the 10 axioms some in some uh, uh, examples these properties may be fails this last property we we observe one into u bar is u bar but what is the one into u bar this is not your usual multiplication usually we know that uh, if we multiply the element by one we have the same answer but this one into u bar this multiplication is not our usual multiplication that's why in some example one into u bar is not equal to u bar we have this uh, in some examples so this property may be fails in some uh, some examples so if all these 10 properties are satisfied for the set then we say that set is a vector space so what is vector space vector space is a non empty set and two operations and 10 conditions so if the set with, uh, with these two operations satisfies these 10 axioms 10 properties then we say that set is a vector space otherwise uh, if one of the any out of these 10 property one property fails for the set then we say the set is not vector space so the first example of vector space uh, obviously the set of natural number is not vector space set of integer is not vector space why set of integer is not vector space again the c2 c2 property fails for uh, set of integers that is if you take uh, k as one half and u bar as three then again one half into three bar three is the element of the set of integers then one half into three is three by two is not integer and therefore the second property fails for uh, in set of natural numbers set of uh, integers and therefore set of natural number set of integer are not vector spaces uh, the set of real numbers r is a vector space under the two operations usual addition and usual scalar multiplication what are the usual addition of uh, real number for example if you take real number 3 and 2 then its addition is 3 plus 2 is 5 so set of real number is uh, is a is a vector space under these two operations usual addition and usual scalar multiplication what is usual scalar multiplication we know that 2 into 3 is 6 4 into 2 is 8 this is usual scalar multiplication so under these two operations usual addition and usual scalar multiplication the set of real numbers is a vector space that is this set of real numbers satisfies all these 10 properties we will check the first property then the addition of two real number is real number scalar multiplication of two real number is is again real number real uh, addition of real number is commutative addition of real number is associative zero element exists in the vector uh, in the set of real number that is your usual zero is the zero each uh, for each vector its negative also exists in the r that is the negative of real number is a real number then uh, these properties are very obvious we know that scalar multiplication distribute over addition it's called distributive law uh, from left and right we can we have this this is left distributive law this is right distributive law and we know that all this is the associative property of multiplication of real number and one into five is five we know that one into five is five for example so all these 10 properties are satisfied for the set of real numbers under the usual addition and usual scalar multiplication and therefore this capital r with usual addition and usual scalar multiplication is a vector space the next example v is equal to r square what is this r square means r cross r or is the set of all order pairs of real numbers okay for example uh, or we can write v is equal to r square is equal to set of order pair x y such that x and y belongs to us in the place of x y we can also use the notation u1 u2 or v1 v2 u1 u2 or v1 v2 u1 and u2 belongs to r so we can write order pair 
that is the set of all order pairs with real entries. So this x, x and y are real numbers. So this is the set of all order pairs. And what is the definition of addition? So for u bar as x y and v bar as x dash y dash, or we can take u bar as x one y one, v bar as x two y two. These these are the just notation. So or u bar as u one u two, v bar as v one v two belongs to R square. Define u bar plus v bar is equal to x y plus x dash y dash is x plus x dash comma y plus y dash. That is the addition of uh, corresponding components co coordinates, x s coordinate and y. Addition of y y coordinate. Then this is the usual addition of order pair. And then k is as n scalar. Suppose k is n scalar. Then k into u bar is k into x y order pair x y is k x k y. This is again the usual scalar multiplication in R square. And with respect to these two operations, this v or R square is a vector space. So show that v is equal to R square is a vector space with respect to these two operations. So we just remember that this uh, r square with usual addition and usual scalar multiplication is a vector space this proof of this uh, example is not uh, important as far as the exam concern but for our interest we can uh, prove the uh, give the proof of this uh, uh, example a solution of this example this, this is the solution of this example as far as the exam concern this uh, the solution of this uh, example is not very important. So now we have to show this R square is a vector space means we have to show 10 properties. So first property A1. So for that, we take this U as X, Y, V as X dash, Y dash, W as X double dash, Y double dash, B in it three vectors in R square. Then now we have to show first property that addition of every two element of R square exists in R square. So U bar plus V bar u bar and v bar are any two elements of r square so what is u bar plus v bar x y plus x dash y dash is x plus x dash y plus y dash what is this this is by using the definition of sum in r2 it is new it is not your uh, usual definition it is given in the example what is the addition of the two vectors we take the addition of two vectors like this so here the addition is this x plus x dash y plus y dash by definition of sum in r2 this sum how we have to take this sum? It is given in the example. So we have to take the sum give as far as as, uh, uh, as the given in example. Don't use your uh, usual note, uh, definition of addition or uh, multiplication, scalar multiplication. What is given in the example? So you do the addition what is given in the example. So this is the addition. And obviously this is order pair and x and y, x dash, y and y dash all are real numbers addition of two real number is real number so x plus x dash is real number y plus y dash is real number and obviously therefore this uh, x plus therefore uh, what do we have x plus x dash comma y plus y dash belongs to r square so this is the first property addition of u bar plus v bar belongs to u bar plus v bar belongs to r square and then k u bar Take u bar as x y and k as in scalar, then k u bar is k x y, it's k x k y, and this is again element of R2. And therefore, the first two properties, C1 and C2, satisfied for R2, write that two properties, then write these property. The first two property, write C1 first and then C2, and then write A1. So A1 is what? U bar plus V bar is this. And we know that addition of two real numbers is committed to x plus x dash, we can write x dash plus x, y plus y dash as y dash plus y. And again, we reuse the, the definition of uh, in uh, sum in R2. We have x dash y dash plus x y and then v plus u. That u bar plus v bar is equal to v bar plus u bar, right? Arrow at the top or bar at the top. U bar, v bar, just write bar. Don't write this arrow. So then u bar plus v bar plus w bar is this. x y plus x dash y dash plus x double dash y double dash. Then x plus x dash, y plus y dash is the addition. And then x dash plus y double dash, we have this. And the addition of a, a real number is associative. We can write x plus x dash plus x double dash as x plus x dash plus x double dash. Like this, y plus y dash plus y double dash. We can write y plus y dash plus y double dash. Uh, the associative sum in R. The, we know that 2 plus 3 plus 5, 4 
you can write 2 plus 3 plus 4 as 2 plus 3 first add 2 plus 3 then it is 5 plus 4 7 or 2 plus 2 3 plus 4 and then add 1 okay so 2 plus 3 plus 4 we have the answer 8 in both way so addition of uh, or sum of uh, real number is associative and then again we have x y plus x dash plus x double dash y plus y double dash and then the addition of this is what x dash y dash plus x double dash y dash that is u bar plus u bar plus w bar so we have this property a2 u bar plus v bar plus w bar is u bar plus v bar plus w bar then add zero belongs to r what is the zero 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 right here zero bar what is the zero bar order pair zero zero exist in r2 so zero vector existing what is the property of zero if you add zero zero in u bar then we have the answer u bar u bar is x y so we have the answer u bar so zero vector exists in r2 we denote it by zero bar and if you take u, u bar as x y in any element then it's minus u bar minus x y minus x minus y exist in r2 is the element of r2 because x and y are real number then minus x minus y also real number and what is their addition is zero vector zero zero and therefore negative of every element of r2 exists in r2 then uh, m1 property k plus k into u bar plus v bar is this so we have k u bar plus v bar is k u bar plus k v bar similarly if we take k plus l u bar k and l are scalars u bar as x y then we have this and then we have k u bar plus l u bar so and then k in k l u bar is k l x y u bar means x y and then we have this and we have k l u bar okay take just k common because a multiplication of a, a, a real number is associative so we have this then one into u bar one into x y is one x one y by using definition of scalar multiplication given in the example and it is equal to x y so one u bar is u bar and therefore all the 10 properties are satisfied by the uh, r2 and the two operations are given the two operations given some and scalar multiplication and therefore r2 is a vector space under the given two operations similarly we can write the same problem in another notation v is equal to r2 is equal to u1 u2 what is the u u bar now u1 u2 u1 u2 belongs to r then addition is defined like this again the same and uh, for instead of k notation here the notation is alpha for scalar alpha u bar is alpha u1 alpha u2 that is the same definition usual addition of uh, order pairs and usual scalar multiplication then show that v is a vector space again the show the first c1 c2 a1 a2 all these 10 property so u bar as u1 u2 v bar as v1 v2 w is a what w bar right w bar as w1 w2 the three element and alpha and beta are the scalars then u bar plus v bar is just u1 order pair u1 plus v1 comma u2 plus v2 and is the element of v or r2 because it is an order pair this is an order pair alpha u1 alpha u2 and so first two properties c1 and c2 satisfied for v similarly a1 a2 a3 a4 m1 m2 m3 and m4 all these 10 properties are satisfied for the set uh, r2 and therefore r2 is a vector space it's called real vector space okay real vector space with respect to the given two operations so both the problems are same just the difference is the for notation so take a r2 as a order, set of order pair x y or set of order pair u1 u2 so this is the same problem then uh, in this way r3 is a vector space rn is a vector space. r3 is what set of order uh, set of three tuples x y z so that x y z belongs to our set of three tuples and again the addition of the two vectors uh, suppose u bar is x y z u v bar is x dash y dash z dash then their addition is like this x plus x dash y plus y dash z plus z dash three tuple and k u bar is this k x k y k z for any scalar k then v is equal to r3 is a vector space under these two operations Similarly, if you take Aryan, what is Aryan? We, it is I write R raised to N, but read it as Aryan, Aryan, R raised to N. So Aryan is what? 
set of n tuples x1 x2 dash 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 xn x1 x2 xn belongs to us set of n tuples all n tuples and the addition of these two n tuples is like this addition of corresponding element x1 plus x y1 x2 plus y2 xn plus yn and k u bar is this k x1 x2 xn is k x1 comma k x2 comma k xn for scalar k then v is a vector space with respect to these two operations this is a, these are the usual addition of two n tuples usual scalar multiplication so under these two operation v is a vector space so r r square r cube r raised to 4 r raised to n all are the vector spaces with respect to usual addition and usual scale multiplication. So we can define R raised to N like this, U1, U2, UN. Instead of this uh, X1, X2, XN, we can use the notation U1, U2, UN. So it is just difference between notation. R raised to N is uh, set of all N tuples, U1, U2, UN, such that UI, UI means U1, U2, UN belongs to R. So again, the addition is given, scalar multiplication. Instead of k, here the notation is alpha. So v is a vector space. So we can also give the proof like this. All the example, uh, v is equal to r2. So this is the proof for v is equal to r2. Similarly, we can prove r3, r raised to 3 is a vector space. r raised to 4 is a vector space. r raised to n is a vector space. So if I have to write the, uh, if I have to write the proof of this, uh, Example R is to 3 or R is to n. So follow this uh, proof. So in similar manner, we can show that R is to 3, R is to n are vector spaces. So this is the next example, fourth number example of vector space. So we will see the remaining examples of vector space in the next lecture.